Hi, this is T. Payton. Hey, I saw a question on the fcp.co forums about um, how to replicate uh, an effect on a spot. Let me show you this here. See how that text kind of is revealed by him as he's walking by. So let me show you how to pull off that off rather easily. Um, okay, I've made a clean plate of this just real quick. I use slice X in case you're wondering, but obviously you don't need to do that because you're being doing this in your own footage. Um, but so we've got this clean uh, ball player here. The nice thing about this is that he is there's such high contrast between him and the background, and this is going to be able to let us work very easily with this. Obviously, there's other ways to do this, but if you can see the principle of it, I think you'll understand it quickly. So um, we've applied some text here. Um, I said basketball isn't everything, um, and I've just made a title, and I'm gonna, let's go ahead and trim that title. So the first thing we're going to do is just mask this off because we want to um, just have a starting place for it. So what I'm going to use is just built-in tools here. We're going to use the trim right function. So I'm just going to go to the front, the first part of this um, text, and I'm just going to set a keyframe for the right trim. And you can see the right trim is going to cover it up. See that? That's kind of what we want. So we're actually going to start with just barely anything there. And let's do control V to open up this so we can see the keyframes as we place them. So our objective here is to place the text on him. So first of all, let's just go ahead and set a keyframe about right there. All right, that should be good. And then here, So again, the objective is that the text is over him. See that? So it's going to be revealed, and all we have to worry about is just is covering up the text. So, okay, so watch this. So I'm going to grab this, Command-C. I'm going to go to the beginning of it, and then Control-V. Um, I'm sorry, not Control-V. <laughs> Um, option V is going to paste another version of that on top of it. Now with this one, I'm going to temporarily turn this off with V. So now we're going to do some kind of mat. We want to isolate him. So a Luma mat is going to work just fine for us here. So the Luma keyer is what it's called here in Final Cut. And let me show you how this works. Um, first of all, let's take a look at what the mat is. And this is opposite of what we want. So we're going to hit invert, start off here. And we want the white portions exactly like that. Now let's scrub through this and see if there's any big issues. Okay, little issue right there. We don't need everything. All we need is just his head. Let's use some mat tools here and fill holes. Oh, that's not going to be good. That's not working. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit of massaging here to get this right. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. All we need is just something kind of close to this. OK, and you're thinking, wow, how could this work? Well, um, take a look here. Let's put it back in a normal view. And now we're just going to use a regular mask on top of this. We could use anything um, for this. But all we need is the side of his head, really. OK, see that? And now look. OK, there's a little hole on his cheek there we need to deal with. But it's effectively revealing the text. See that? Now, watch, let's turn this back on down here. And look, we already have the effect, mostly, um, there. We obviously seen a little bit of tweaking uh, that's going to happen, especially since we have some spill through right there on him. So let's go back to this. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off uh, so we can hopefully deal with that. Uh, little transparent area. Hmm, it's problematic. 
what that is. How can we get that? Uh, we could do an erode. Hmm. Okay, to get it completely. Hmm. Come on. <laughs> well, we might have to keyframe this a little bit. Uh, as you can see, that highlight there, that is just a problem to try to deal with that. So I think, you know what? We're 90% of the way there. We just need a little bit of tweaking. So let's go ahead and just leave that and then we'll deal with the rest of it with keyframing. So and let me show you how that's gonna be done. So let's set this back. So we've just got a little bit of hole right there. Um, I'm gonna go back to our text here. So all we have to do now, it's gonna be a little tricky, but we can do this. Uh, let's open up our keyframes again so we can see where we are. And now I'm just going to add another keyframe and just cover that up. Again, it's going to be a little tricky because of that. Okay, and there's a little bit right there. See that? Okay, the rest of that is taken care of. So we really just have this tiny little bit where the B is showing through. Let's go ahead and chop that off. Okay, I think we got it. Um, again, not an ideal Luma key, but it was close enough. Let's turn this in and let's look at the final effect. There you go. So you can imagine you can use that effect for uh, various other things. Um, hey, let me just show you real quick as a little bonus um, how I pulled off that um, that first text removal. So what I did, this is really simple. Um, first of all, I used SliceX object remover and I just removed the object right here, the old text. It's just a simple replacement of it. And then what I did is I is I keyframed the size of this blob. So as you can see here, let me get off that. You can see it covers up his neck a little bit. Well, and to deal with that, I made a Luma key right here. And I dealt with his the, the left side of his um, head there, actually his right side of his head. So that's how that's done. Anyway, hope this helps. Enjoy.